Good morning, everybody. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're hailing from in this beautiful planet. Um, boy, you know, I always get a funny little comment from clients, uh, and it's always on Fridays, and it's always after they've completed their work for the week. They're coming to me, and it's always cracks me up a little bit because it's so, um, I don't know, people say, have a nice weekend, and I just go, there are no weekends. There is just work, and and, 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 and and then you're done with work. There's work, and then it's finished. So I always kind of smirk uh, a little bit when I hear that because um, dust off the old workstation because it's um, it's just funny to hear that because I'm always working when they're not working. It's when I do most of my work when they've done theirs and they've uh, finished editing or whatever. That's when I sort of have to snap to it and really get to it. So here we are. Happy post-weekend for those of you who weren't working this weekend. Uh, so today we're going to talk about um, a mixture of... This is the first video I'm going to do where I'm going to talk... I might actually make a recommendation today. I might, about a library. But before I make that recommendation, uh, let's open up Logic. So we're going to open up Logic, and then we're going to open up Vienna Ensemble Pro Server, which we have. And I'm going to load something up on the server page. I'm going to load up an instance of the server. Uh, the last selected audio interface is not available. That's fine. So we're going to use a different audio interface today. Let's kind of get rid of that. Uh, do I like Splice? I like Splice because it gives me an opportunity to try things out. Um, Especially if I don't, I'm not sure if I want to purchase something. So I always, I always use Splice a lot for that. Uh, this is annoying. I got to fix this whole contact East West player thing. Uh, okay, so here we are. We got this now. Vienna Ensemble Pro. We're going to load uh, a recent project, a template for strings. So this is going to load up. And while this is loading up, uh, I want to talk specifically about what I'm going to be showing you today. So using our friend Mir. Uh, I'm going to show you and I'm going to recommend to you what I believe is um, the one of the finer Vienna libraries. One of the finer Vienna libraries. So this is a little bit scary uh, just because I haven't given a real endorsement, but I'm going to give a soft endorsement today and why I like this library so much and why I've been using it for probably, oh, probably over eight years I've been using it, a long time. So uh, let's open up a template here. So we've got a template somewhere. And I think we have a template. Um, do we have a template? No, we don't. So let's just start over new. And let's do this, make sure everything works. And we're gonna use Wish there was music for this part, just so I could play that. Uh, I could warm warm the the audience up here. So we're going to connect this to the server instance, untitled connect, uh, and then we're going to get some channels going here. So we've got channel one there, and let's get some other multiple channels here. Seven, eight, nine. There we go, and let's see if they all work. We're going to do a multi. Yeah, everything seems to work. Okay, great. So I'm going to move this over here. And then we're going to talk specifically about um, one at a time. So again, um, starting at the very top. We hear nothing. So let's figure out why we're not hearing anything. And I bet you it has something to do with the expression matrix not being set up right. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. It's my favorite part about working is when things don't work. That's my favorite part of the whole the whole situation. So we've let's kind of table this one for now. Let's just table that. Let's go back to our mixer. So that's not 
We're not feeling it right now. And that's okay. That's okay, because do we really need that? Let's go to the next channel. So this, I believe, is uh, a patch I'm running. And this gets us to what I want to talk about today. So uh, this is the violin from the Vienna Orchestral String Library. And if we go into string patches and we use orchestral strings and we go into violin, it's a patch I put together. And what I really, really like about this particular uh, sound is the playability of it. I love how how just beautiful it sounds. Just the playability of it is so great. Uh, however, there is something about uh, Vienna libraries that you have to know. And that's the space element of it. So if we go into, for example, the ensemble mixer and I disable this, we have something like this. Now that doesn't sound that great. It sounds very dry. So it's really important that you have some kind of reverberation program you're using. Uh, in this case, I'm using Mirror. But it really needs to be in a space because those samples are recorded without any room tone, really. I mean, it's very, very close mic And uh, one thing I've noticed in the terms of the difference between the philosophies of um, Spitfire and Vienna is Spitfire will blend a lot of room tone and there'll be a lot of character in terms of mic tree, that sort of thing. Uh, that's baked into the sample, which makes them initially easier to work with. Uh, but there is this kind of precision and fineness that you get with the Vienna samples because they're recorded so dryly. And you have to really work the reverb on them. Really work that. in order to get those to sound really natural and beautiful. So moving on, let's go to the next, next sample. Uh, so this is, let's see. So that's the viola sample. And again, from um, uh, orchestral strings complete, very, very beautiful, just Very, just very beautiful. And moving on. The cellos. And then if you put them all together. And play them very badly. placed in that hall, they're just great. So this is one complete string library that I would strongly recommend. Uh, again, so let's add some more to it here. And then we have horns. Then we 
these really low strings. Ah, so this is where things get really interesting. We have the horns. Now, and the horns are the dimension horns. But the low strings that we're hearing. Ah, there's our winds. They're back now. strings that I'm using. So this is where I'm breaking rules a little bit. Sorry, Vienna. Uh, I am adding to this whole montage of sound these very low uh, strings that I just love, love to use. And these are, if I can get my mixing matrix to behave here, these are the, those are the horns. Those, these are the Abbey Road 2 strings. On the very low part of this, and these are the legendary low. Which are just beautiful. Now if you take these away from the whole thing, you get the Vienna. get that but if you add the low strings in as a pedal tone something like that oh, it's early well wow. um okay so we have then we have sparkling winds at the very top and the sparkling winds give it this really nice just Kind of, you know, that articulated sound. So let's just play the sparkling winds at the top. Let's see what those are. Okay, they're right here. Move these. Not in the actual. Uh, here they are. Are they here? Oh, interesting. Um, they're not in the actual Vienna Hall. To check into that. See what's going on there. But we have this nice. Let me just sustain these for a while. now. Those just sound great. Now, some really bad music this morning but this is okay so let's get back to the whole point of this video um the whole point of this is to tell you and i'm going to minus the i'm going to take the spitfire stuff out uh i'm just going to use the vienna so the vienna orchestral library
Uh, it's just the way the strings behave to me feel very um, natural and very playable, but they must be premixed. So this is really important and it's really key. If I were to bypass um, the uh, reverb on all of these, you wouldn't have that same kind of sound. Now, whether you're using Mirror or you're using even Space Designer, Space Designer is great if you don't if you can't afford Mirror or you don't want to use Mirror. Now, there's also a whole bunch of other um, uh, things you can do or things you can use. But let's talk about the the big philosophy um, with the Vienna library. Now, of course, there's a Synchron library, which already has strings baked into it, and I actually have an instance of Synchron in here, not in Mirror, um, but most of the other libraries I have in Mirror. So Synchron comes with a uh, really great sort of uh, Synchron Hall um, reverb that you can use. But again, the big difference in the philosophy of these libraries with the uh, Spitfire library, you get more of a already baked in sound. You also get a different sound. It's a more of a British sound in terms of how the the samples are actually played so there's a style of playing a viennese style of playing which is this sort of uh, i want to say it's a bit more on the transient side but it gives you this real fineness to the actual string sound and i could go into a whole you know video about the philosophies of different schools of classical music and why they use the samples that they use i'm not going to do that but this now get rid of the Synchron library too. So now we're hearing just the, um, just. And I'll get rid of the. So this is just orchestral strings. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, you know. You know, even on the low end. some horns in there too. So those are just those Vienna uh, orchestral strings with a little dimension horn. We had the other synchron strings in there and we had the Abbey Road stuff too. that in there too. So that low end. Adding that little extra low end with the um, Spitfire legendary low strings really gives us some nice heft. So that's where I'm blending um, those libraries together. If you want more information about specific uh, layering and patching techniques, please let me know in the comments because I also am doing some things within this that are a little bit unique, not so much to composer workflow, but in terms of patch development and how I sort of set patches up. So if you have questions about that, please leave me a comment and um, that's it. So happy Monday. Keep composing. Have a great week.